This morning we're going to be talking about endurance. Endurance. And the scripture reference this morning is Psalm 30 and verse 5. For his anger is but for a moment, but his favor is for life. Mm. His favor is for life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy, joy comes in the morning. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Psalm 30 and verse 5. Another, another translation that I posted in the chat this morning for you. It says, crying, crying may last for a night, but joy, joy comes in the morning. Joy comes in the morning. Pain, my brothers and sisters, listen to this. Pain is an um, inevitable part of life and growth. Pain. And sometimes it can be beneficial. Sometimes pain can be beneficial. Mm -hmm. let's, let, let's take a look at why it can be helpful. Pain. P-A-I-N. P-A-I-N. Pain can be helpful. Can you imagine that? Pain can be helpful in this way. It can let us know there's something wrong that needs to be put right. All right? Mm-hmm. It can let us know there's something wrong that needs to be put right. Pain, it makes us acknowledge there's a problem. Yeah. It makes us acknowledge that there's a problem. Pain. It encourages us to seek help, to put things right. Yeah. You know, they, they go to the doctor and the first thing they ask you, one of the first things that they ask you, the doctor will say to you from, um, from you know, zero to 10, what do you say your pain level is? Because it's important to them. If it's an eight, then you know they're gonna do something right away. If you say it's a three, man, <laughs> you've been sitting in that waiting room for a while. So based on the level of pain you're feeling, you're enduring. That's how quickly they'll see you sometimes. Pain, my brothers and sisters, the fourth one is this pain. It makes us willing to accept treatment that we might find uncomfortable so we can be made whole again. Took someone to the doctor the other day, and and and, and uh, I'm not going to tell you who. And, and she 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 was just. I just wanted to go away. That's what she's telling the doctor. I just wanted to go away. I wanted to go away, doc. It makes us willing to accept treatment that we might find uncomfortable sometimes, so we can be made whole again. It sounds strange, but the more we dread and resist any pain we're feeling, the more its effect on us increases. And the stronger it becomes, when we're being treated for something that's physically painful, our doctor will often tell us to breathe and relax. Breathe, relax, Re breathe and relax. The more we fight the pain, the more we will be hurt. This can apply to emotional pain, my brothers and sisters. This can apply to emotional pain too. If we try to ignore how we're feeling and pretend we're okay, the hurt just builds up inside of us and wears us down, wears us down, wears us down. When we experience pain, when we experience pain, whether it's emotional or physical, we shouldn't try to ignore that thing we shouldn't try to hide it or we shouldn't have tried to fight it either we need to walk through it and allow it to accomplish its purpose allow that pain to accomplish its purpose the bible says this when troubles when troubles come your way consider it an opportunity of great joy an opportunity for great joy the word says when your faith is tested your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, listen to me, you will be perfect 
and complete, needing nothing. That's what the Bible says, my brothers and sisters. Let me read it again for you. When troubles come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. When your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. James 1, 2 through 4 says that. James 1, 2 through 4, two through four says that. Painful experience can bring all kinds, all kinds of opportunities for learning. Opportunities are, um, for, for developing our character and growing our trust in God. Pain. We're talking about painful experiences. So when pain comes your way, I don't know if my cousin is still listening. When pain comes your way, cuz, let's take a breath. Let's relax and walk through it with God by our side. Walk through it by with, with, with God by our side. And remember what James 1, verse 2 through 4 says to us. So my question this morning to you is, are you experiencing any sort of pain at the moment? Any form of physical or emotional pain this morning? Take some time out today, my brothers and sisters, my family members, my friends. Take some time out today with God to tell him how you're really feeling. Yeah. Tell him how you're really feeling and ask him to help you walk through. Walk through that pain. Rather than fighting it. Take some time today throughout your day today. And ask God to tell uh, and tell God how you really feel. And ask him, ask him for help. Ask him for help that you can walk through this painful experience. This emotionally painful experience that you're going through rather than fighting it. No need to fight it. It will last for a night. But your joy comes in the morning. It will last only for a night. For his anger is but for a moment. His favor is for life. Weeping, the word says, may endure for a night, but joy comes. Joy comes in the morning. Father, we come before your presence once again. And Lord God, many of us are experiencing pain, some way, shape, or form. Emotional pain, Lord God. Physical pain to our bodies, to our minds, to our hearts. And so we're asking you, God, to help us walk through it. Help us, Lord God, to fight through it, Jesus. Because we know even when we are fighting through it, we're not fighting alone, but you're fighting with us. We're depending on you, Lord. We're depending on you today, Lord God, to take the pain away. Take the pain away from us, Jesus. And Lord God, have your way have your way jesus as we glorify you and worship you with all our hearts with all our soul and our mind in jesus name we pray and we say amen and amen and amen